This estate home with its long country driveway, Koi Lake and stately manor was built by businessman Charles Matthews and his wife, educational psychologist Dr. Lizette Matthews. It was up to David Muirhead to turn this dramatically proportioned house into a cosy home for two. Thank you, David. Usually when people step out of a vintage Rolls, it's for a special occasion. And today is exactly that. And the car couldn't be better suited. Charles and Lizette's dream ran into a major obstacle as it sits on dolomite rock which can dissolve in acidic water. It took two years to pass these plans and lay solid foundations. But what they've built was worth the wait. Charles, I can see from the open space that you've created and the entrance hall alone that this is something special. So we really just wanted to create a home that is peaceful, luxurious and with a lot of open spaces and flowing areas and a place where you can sort of come home after work and just relax and just enjoy the beauty of the surroundings. From the exterior and what you can immediately see when you step into the home, you get the influence of an English country style home. The thing that probably stands out is, is the open spaces and the flowing rooms, the, the high ceilings and just the beautiful view that you have from all the different angles of the house. Merging English and American colonial styles, David has created a sense of art and antique collections and of a life spent seeing the world. David, this is obviously the formal dining area and you can already feel the coziness from it and the intimacy that's been set from the gold rich wallpaper and the furniture of course to match. What were you doing in this room? The start of this interior for this space, the foundation really, was the wallpaper. Our clients fell completely in love with this gorgeous and legend viney wallpaper and we used that as the starting point. We then layered it with beautiful antique pieces which we sourced with the clients. How important were the pieces of artwork that you've placed? Well, as a South African, I absolutely love collecting South African great artists. And in this room, we've got some beautiful Tina de Jong, some Gabrielle de Jong, and other great artists. So we've really just created a mix to bring the whole room together. And of course, just like with any other beautiful formal dining room, there's the touches of silver. Of course. And these are pieces that have passed through the family, collected. The whole house is a wonderful collection of spirited items and beautiful pieces. And here we are in the heart of the home, a wonderful, classical, traditional kitchen. It's an entertainer's dream, really. Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I love the sheer size of this island. Is there any significance to that? Well, it's just really practical. If you look at the, the design of this space, it's not only classical, but it's also very functional and also very calm and peaceful in terms of the coloration. When you speak about the functionality and the practicality, it's not sort of detail either. There's a beautiful mosaic just above the stove there. We actually designed that detail to work with the kitchen as a bespoke piece for the client. Beautiful. The house feels relaxed and the owners are all about comfort. So here we are in the living room. It's a very classical, symmetrical space. The wallpaper is also a beautiful and classical imported wallpaper. There's an optimum creating the central foundation and the central area. And then we've layered this with Persian carpets, artwork in terms of chandeliers. The chandelier was sourced from London, a special piece, a bespoke piece. So there's a history behind every piece, which creates wonderful interest for the homeowner. The formal lounge is warm as toast, opening to a grand patio in summer. I love the number of doors that seem to be out in these rooms. Obviously, they open out onto the patio and onto the garden. It's such a practical room. This, this room changes and evolves from winter to summer like no other. The winters are beautiful and warm, wonderful fireplace in a very symmetrical space. And then again, in summer, it's used completely the opposite. Doors open, wonderful tea parties, cocktail parties, etc. And I can really see myself enjoying these bespoke pieces, sitting in them with that warm fireplace during winter and then during a good game of sport or a movie, going through that room. I can see a the Hollywood there. room. <laughs> Let's go through. Their home cinema is intimate, comfortable and practical. I can definitely see why you call this the Hollywood room. There's the suede Chesterfield couches, the glamour of it all. Of course, a little picture of Marilyn Monroe there and uh, just the pure love for movies. So this room is really about symmetry. We've clad the walls with a wonderful big crock wallpaper by Ralph Lauren. And the sofas were actually bespoke pieces made to our specifications for the clients. It's a practical room. The Ottomans are on wheels and it's a space that really is about living. 
Well, I can't help but notice the projector and all the speakers that, of course, the screen comes down and you have the best cinematic experience. It has a great sound system and the sound in this room is really incredible. There's a sense of stylish opulence. David, if there's one thing I've seen throughout this home is that there's a definite love for art. Pierre is one of South Africa's greatest artists and doesn't it look amazing on this wallpaper? Yeah, it really, really does. Reframing classic art gives a modern twist to the traditional feel. David, this seems to be a completely different living space to the ones that we've seen and I love that flow that's been created from the continuation of the wallpaper from downstairs up to here and of course the books with this library setting that we have just to come and enjoy a book. So this room is an eclectic mix of different textures and fabrics. We've got velvets, we've got leather, we've got focus on comfort. It really is about picking up a book and relaxing into one of the comfy sofas. The Matthews moved here from quite a small house and architect Maria Costa has given their new address a sense of scale and space whilst keeping it homely. Maria, I can see why you'd be enjoying a good cup of tea with this absolutely beautiful view. You really have outdone yourself with this home. I love the spaces you've created. Incredible job. Thank you very much. Um, I got involved with Charles and Lizette because we were busy doing a house up the road here and got involved with them designing their dream house. The brief from the client was to create open spaces, to use the view as much as we can, open glass, sliding stacking doors opening up into the garden area and we've tried to create uh, interesting views from each room into that garden area. But of course not every dream is easy. What were your challenges? We started off with a bit of a challenge on the foundations. There's quite a bit of dolomite in this area and particularly this property had a big problem with the soil conditions. One of the challenges we had was because the house had to be positioned particularly in this spot is that the house is actually south facing. Retaining the valley views to the south without losing the home's warmth was Maria's triumph. Inside, large-scale furniture brings coziness to vast rooms. David? David? Okay, well, David's not around and this is the master bedroom and I can't even believe what I'm seeing already. Look at the size of this bed, four posts, intricate detail, and I really want to jump on it, but I'll probably get fired for that. Each showpiece feels as if it's been personally collected. Insane cupboard. Well, probably all the way from Asia. Look at the size of this carpet, amazing detail. There's another living room in the middle of the bedroom. Amazing, once again, great place to just chill. There's a, there's a tea area as well. Look at this place. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the bathroom. It's a standalone bath. Massive shower. You can probably put about 10 people in there, although that would be a bit weird. There's more couches just to relax and enjoy whatever you're doing. Read a book perhaps that you'd get from the other 10 rooms down there. And then you walk out and you have another beautiful view on the side. Max, where have you been? Oh, Dave, I um, couldn't find you anywhere, so I just decided to take the liberty of exploring this incredible master bedroom myself, and I can see why it rivals some of the best hotel suites in the world. But I just have to ask you this question because the little boy in me wants to know, is that what I think it is? It certainly is. Amaze. Amazing. <laughs> it's in keeping with Dr. Lizette Matthews' profession as a psychologist that the garden challenges the mind as much as it excites the senses. It suggests a couple who have been equal to whatever comes their way and who are having fun navigating the riddle of life. As if there weren't enough things to discover around this house already, there's of course also a maze. It's been a special day from arriving in a vintage Rolls Royce to exploring this quintessentially English country style home, one that you definitely want to get lost in. But for now, I need to get out of here. That way. Yeah.